All right, everybody. So lately there's been this massive trend of conservative chud grift content creators having absolute massive meltdowns over pronouns and games and games going woke, but they've kind of gotten a little too overzealous with it. Instead of attacking games and pieces of media that were already disliked for external reasons and claiming those reasons are because of the wokeness, Instead, they're going after popular media that's bound to succeed, like the Mario movie, or Starfield, or, um, like, Marvel movies and what have you. It's been a very hard struggle for these grifters to not look like idiots when they say go woke, go broke over this stuff. And recently, we've had another amazing instance of this. I'd say, obviously, the most beautiful example is uh, Heels vs. Babyface and his recent meltdown over pronouns in Starfield. If you guys haven't seen this already, here is one of the more prominent right-wing grifters melting down over the option to choose your pronouns in the game Starfield. I just want to say something to you, Bethesda. just want to say a little... little... Oh, did I hit 90,000 subs? Oh, what a cool little landmark to hit in the video. Did I hit 90,000 subs? I did! 90,004, let's go. Thank you, guys. I really appreciate it. 10k away from 100,000. Let's go. Here, let's watch this. Thank you, guys. I just want to say something to you, Bethesda. Just want to say a little, little something. There is nothing I love more. Taking my headphones off. Fuck that. Bethesda, there is nothing I love more than to, to, to sit down, comfy chair, turn on my PC, fire up a brand new RPG. My PC. Uh, uh, lose myself. RPG. Think, oh my God, just think of this world. Just think of all the planets I can visit, all the immersive things that I can get involved with, all the fights, all the relationships, all the people I meet, all the places I go. I'm so excited to go there. And you know, I love nothing more than with all of that laid out in front of me. I love nothing more than to be dragged out at every fucking conceivable opportunity so you can fucking current day us. Sorry, fucking did you want to get pronouns. immersed in the world? Yeah, well, guess what? Fucking pronouns! Fucking gender ambiguity! Fucking current day Californian shit! Because that's all we fucking know! Because we're boring! We're so fucking boring! I like his Geeks and Gamers shirt. We! Like, that for some reason, they wear each other's merch. It's really can't weird. Can't see past our own fucking reflection! That's the level of our narcissism here at Bethesda Western Game Company! Fuck your immersion! Fuck you having a good time! Fuck you falling into a world and just getting lost! No, no, no! Current fucking day! Fuck off! You're boring! You're fucking dull! You have nothing to say! You are a one hived mind twat waffle! And on that day, a new soy jack was born. That's all you fucking are! And you wonder why people are getting so fucking sick and tired! You take everything we love, all our immersions, all our fantasies, all our escapism, and you just can't help shovel your dog shit fucking crap ideology into everything, every single solitary fucking thing. He just keeps going. And then he immediately goes back to playing the game. <laughs> Just immediately goes back to playing the game. I love it. What a great ending to the video. So, something that made these people's genre of content successful when it was doing well was the fact that there was a perceptual difference in the amount of care given by one side or the other. Something you need to understand about Zoomer normies that are into gaming is they don't give a fuck about politics. They don't. Or at least they don't think they give a fuck about politics. If you present politics to them in a way that looks like you care, it turns them off. If you present politics to them as the chaser to entertainment, 
they start absorbing the political opinions without even realizing it. It doesn't feel like it's being forced on them. All the better if it's coming from an independent content creator that doesn't really look like they're putting a lot of money into their content because it comes off like they're not trying to spend a bunch of money to make them believe something. So despite this content being extremely disingenuous, it seems extremely genuine to the people who watch it because how grassroots it feels, how, you know, uh, just made by a normal YouTuber it feels, just a guy with his camera. But on top of that, another factor that played a big part was that most lefty advocacy within the gaming sphere was very embarrassing for a long time especially during Gamergate and a lot so during the woke scold era that led in large part to the fall of left tube and the rise of the red pill era. Um, there were just a lot of lefties online making the left look bad in the gaming community. Probably the most recent example of this was the Hogwarts legacy thing. Granted that game had no cultural staying power. Fucking no one's playing that. No, no one now no one's talking about it. Um, but at the time, it was a big deal, and the left took a lot of really bad hits in that discourse because to this day, right-wingers reference the death threats trans people sent streamers for playing the game. And that was a lot of people's perception of the left back then. But nowadays, with the fall of the red pill and the right-wing politics kind of falling off in the algorithm nowadays, it's kind of on its way out, in the cycle at least, we're seeing a lot more instances of these conservative propagandists having meltdowns go viral like what you just saw. Another example has just happened with a video that is getting absolutely ratioed to hell. It has 19,000 views in two days with 187 likes. Dislikes hidden. The comments just tearing this person up. This is the thumbnail. Go ahead and soak this up. This video's gone viral on Twitter and is getting massively dunked on. And it's quite funny. The video is titled, Mario Has Gone Woke. New voice actor Kevin Afghani has pronouns in bio. So, that is the reason of this video. The new voice actor of Mario has pronouns in his bio... And so Mario has gone woke. You can you can tell why this video has been massively downvoted. Let's give it a watch. It's not 100% confirmed yet, but it would appear that the new voice actor for Mario is none other than Kevin Afghani. And I don't really know what this dude has done. I I like how this guy's one of those channels that like has a gif of like anime fire going in the background and just shows like a blurred image and random pictures in the foreground while they rant there's a lot of these channels that are just like super low effort like commentary channels out there i don't mind them if they actually have something of value to say but you know this one's very clearly just trying to farm clicks and I'm not familiar with his other works, and I've never even heard of him before until just a few minutes ago. But apparently he's done some work in the world of voice acting and has landed the role of Mario in Super Mario Bros. Wonder. Now, I wouldn't really care normally, it's just that, well, let's take a look at his profile picture. What do you see here? Any red flags? I see... Jesus, that was fast. I don't think I have to say what the point of this gif is. Just go ahead and take a good long look at this gif. Know the politics of the person who we're watching. And you put two and two together yourselves. Right off the bat, 36 seconds in. An enormous red flag. He's a pronoun person, okay? Pronouns he him now. I hear you ask. Why is that a big deal? Aren't he him pronouns normal? Don't a pronoun person Isn't that like the pronouns everyone has it's not like he's using kitten self pronouns or some other ridiculous stuff that Everyone he has he him pronouns that doesn't matter The bigger problem is that he seems to think that it's necessary to broadcast those pronouns And the only reason I would guess that he feels that way is because of the larger cultural push from those on the left to rupture 
our identities and confuse everyone by teaching the younger generations that they can just choose to be whatever gender or any other thing that they want to be. Yeah, so the funny thing as well is that on the internet, when you don't have, like, a profile picture that clearly denotes, like, your sex or gender or what you want to be referred as, isn't it reasonable to put your, like, he, him in your bio so you know, like, person who has, like, an anim like, a profile picture that's just a tree and, and like, a vague, like, name that doesn't really indicate gender like wouldn't it be useful so there's that like it actually has genuine value and on top of that you're literally delusional like these people rely so much on claiming that it is the left demanding you do this you do that or you live this way and yet this guy's having a meltdown over this guy choosing to put pronouns in his bio there's a very clear difference here and there's a reason why this video is getting dunked on and has a massive dislike ratio I have to choose my words very carefully here because this is YouTube, but the mere acknowledgement of the importance, and I say that in quotes, of so-called pronouns in our culture today is complicity in the degradation of this culture. I posted a reply to Afghan. So he's, he's JQing here, if it's not obvious. A lot of Nazis believe that uh, essentially... The existence of transness is a way for the left to degrade our culture and make it weak for uh, non-white people to take over. This tweet and I immediately was swarmed by a bunch of... <laughs> In any case, one of the things they... Oh yeah, so when these people get massively dunked on, because it's been a massive trend lately for these people to have meltdowns over like miles morales or starfield or this and to get dunked on on twitter and ratioed and so they make uh videos coping about getting ratioed like actually by thousands of people talking me on twitter and me losing tons of subscribers and getting massively disliked i won even though now i'm known as the guy who had a meltdown over the voice actor and mario using pronouns in their bio or pronouns in starfield or whatever it may be like, none of these people's reputations ever recover from this stuff. Kept replying to me with was, well, you have pronouns too. Shut up. Like, seriously, <laughs> shut up. Left wing destroyed, dude. You got us. It's not the same thing, okay? My quote-unquote pronouns are what they would have been 100 years ago, okay? they My pronouns today are what they would have been I, to... You wouldn't have been born 100 years ago. ...thousand years ago. They aren't some new age made-up BS to make me feel good. My quote-unquote pronouns are simply a description of my gender, and gender is simply another way of saying sex. Someone responded... Gender is simply another way of saying sex. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, don't don't Google that though. Don't don't Google that. Just you know that sounds right to you, right? You know, just assume that it's true because you know that's what you've always assumed, right? Don't Google it. Don't look into it. Don't do any research or anything like that. Just you know, gender and sex are totally the same thing. Um, the entirety of science and academia and medical science uh, don't claim at all that sex and gender are different. Don't look into that, please. Don't Google it. Don't Google it. Stop. Stop Googling it. Stop. No, no, no. Don't Google it. <laughs> That's basically this guy right now. By saying a pronoun person is just a human being. Buddy, I'm not arguing against their existence as people. Of course they're human beings. You're just muddying the water here. What I'm against is using this commie newspeak to... Commie newspeak further alienate the younger generations from their own identities. That and so much more is what's going on. One of these weirdos even told me to um, take the E. Based. Easy way out, so to speak. Listen, I wish luck to Kevin Afghani. I have nothing against him as a person. So I wish luck to Kevin Afghani. I hope all goes well for him. That's how I lost my Twitter account, was telling a uh, conservative pedophile to, uh... I hope it's just a dumb phase that he's going through and that he doesn't use his newfound influence to push for destructive ideologies. If <laughs> Can we read some of the comments on this video? Hearing such a young-sounding voice use the word commie unironically was such a flashbang, Lamau. 
quote, I'm not familiar with his other works and I've never heard of him. Doesn't seem very fair to judge him for simply having pronouns in his bio. If this isn't satire, I'm actually going to cry. Honestly, if I ever had the thought of making a video like this, I'd unironically kill myself. <laughs> IDK, how you went through the entire process of making this without a hint of shame or suicidality. Wow, this is an excellent piece of satire. It's my new favorite show. In all seriousness, imagine being this fragile and pathetic of a human being to believe he, him is going to be the downfall of Mario. Imagine being upset that Mario goes by he, him. Meanwhile, everyone with an IQ above room temperature is welcoming Kevin Afghani with open arms. Yeah, I highly doubt Mario is going woke anytime soon, and I don't care. I'm giving Kevin a bunch of respect. Bro is on to nothing, fire. <laughs> This is true. I'm a play tester, and when I booted up Mario Wonder, immediately turned the camera, and I was like, I like woke LGBTQ transgenders. I love Fidel Castro and hate traditional family values. I think I will vote for Sleepy Joe so that America can become a Mara woke. Very scary stuff. Every now and then I'm reminded people like this actually exists, and it just isn't a funny bit, and this is one of those times. A lot of this is literally normies that don't even know people this crazy exist. And the fact that the right is showing their ass this readily is, it's going to have some pretty good outcomes for us. Let's just say that. Let's just put it that way.